So mesenteric flow patterns tend to be low resistance in the celiac axis because this again is feeding an organ that's the hepatic artery or the liver. It's also feeding the spleen so it tends to be low resistance. Again some of these branches are going out to the stomach as well. For the measurements of pressure, blood pressure cuff size is an important factor. The bladder of the blood pressure cuff should be 20% wider than the limb diameter or 40% of the limb circumference. Now I've got this note here that says important. We use standardized cuffs for physiologic testing that I'll show you in just a moment. But this is often a question or has been a question on the RVT exam in the past. What's the appropriate bladder size for a particular limb segment? And these are the typical physiologic testing cuffs. This is the length, this is the width. So this is the bladder segment right here, and this is the width of the bladder. This particular cuff has a 12 centimeter width. So in order for accurate pressure assessment, the thigh cuff should be 18 centimeters, the arm and the ankle should be 10 or perhaps 12. The calf is usually best accomplished with a 12 centimeter cuff. Metatarsals are nine and digits are two to 2.5 centimeters. What is the effect of increasing sample volume depth on the Doppler system? Yeah, the difference here is we're just setting the depth, not the sample volume size. Sample volume length of those two little lines would change the spatial pulse length, but not the depth position of it. That would be the number two only.